So hello everyone, and this is our Zeek community call for the month of June. So I'm glad to see you guys all here and we can begin with the updates from the Zeek side. So I'll, I'll let Christian give us an update on the technical front of Zeek. So Christian, take it away. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Fatima, as usual. Um, there isn't all that much to talk about this month, I think. Let me see. So we had two um, bug fix releases in uh, May. Uh, 509 and 522 came out. You can check Tim's release notes or the news files for details. But like I said, all, all bug fixes. Um, and those are hopefully the last releases in the 5.x cycle. The, the more exciting development is that we forked Zeek 6 and have a first release candidate. And it's currently in the hands of the, the testing team. And so unless you know terrible things happen there, I would imagine that we have a release in the next couple of weeks. Um, and this is exciting because there is a bunch of really interesting new stuff in Zeek 6, including JavaScript support um, and various other things that, you know, once the release comes, I think we will talk about a whole lot more. Um, and other than that, maybe worth flagging is that Arne put together a new Zeek package, and this is providing um, additional hash functions that are often useful as you script stuff. Uh, there's only one right now, which is uh, murmur hash, which often comes up as a, as a faster alternative that is somewhat more collision prone, but faster is the main selling point. And the idea is that as more of these come up over time, that's sort of the holding ground for these. And then if, if, if you know, popularity is according, then we can pull that over in the distribution, maybe. Um, and let's see. I think that's really all on the technical front right now. So yeah, cross fingers for Seek 6. Awesome. Thanks, Christian. Are there any questions for Christian at this point? All righty. Well, I'll I'll move ahead and I'll ask if Kelly wants to share any updates on the recent Zeek event that happened in Europe. Thanks, Fatima. Um, yes, we last week we did our first uh, Meet the Zeek Developers Day. It happened to coincide with um, a meeting that we were having in Amsterdam with the open source team here from Corelight. And it was fantastic. We had uh, 20 people registered. We had 18 people show up to a small community event where it was pretty much an open format. Um, Christian gave a great roadmap talk, as he always does. We had a guest speaker, um, but we spent a lot of time just talking to one another, and, and the development team got to hear from Zeek users, and Zeek users got to ask questions of the development team. It was a wonderful interaction. So this was our first time out of the gate with this kind of new model, open format, small group, um, regionalized, as opposed to a multi-day, uh, one-time-a-year event. So um, we're thinking about doing more of these. Um, we're going to be doing some at universities, some more public events, uh, workshops, and learnings at universities around the United States, um, as well as we're trying to get the Zeek um, super fans and developers um, getting out there and, and participating in conferences more. So Keep an eye on our Slack channel and our Twitter feeds um, and the website, and we'll be letting you know where folks are. But but we really are working on doing a lot more smaller regional events. Um, and last week was a great first one for the year. That's pretty cool. That's, um, yeah, that was a kind of like successful event. So hopefully we will be looking forward to having those kind of events uh, more in future. And we would love to have more participation from the Zeek user side. And it's a great opportunity and platform for people, not only Zeek users, but in general, if people have any kind of questions um, to Zeek developers regarding Zeek. So thanks, Kelly, for sharing the updates. All right, are there any questions for Kelly? OK, then I'll move along. And I know Richard has joined, so I will pick on him again. Um, so Richard, do you do you want to share anything from the communication side? What's going on on the, that on that side of the table? Sure. And can you guys hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Can hear you just great. Yep. <laughs> okay. This is my first call with a new headset. I had to replace my old, uh, my super old from like Windows ninety five days headset with with a new one because it broke. So here we are. Um, 
The only thing I'd like to mention is that I noticed our YouTube channel is 30 watch hours away from being monetized, which is quite an accomplishment given that most YouTube channels don't don't meet that threshold. Basically, you need 4,000 watch hours over a certain rolling period, and we're so close. And we're not going to make like lots of money. We'll probably make pennies, but I'm very curious to see what actually happens because I've never been associated with any type of monetization of a YouTube channel. So if everyone were to just, I guess, in the next week, watch a bunch of Zeke videos, we might get over that 4,000 limit. And then, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what actually happens because we'll have checked that box and who knows, maybe we'll make a few pennies so we can pay our uh, our Amazon or our other fees that uh, the, the project racks up. That's all I've got. Who gets the money, Richard? <laughs> Uh, it's whoever is the uh, actually that's a good question. I mean, I whoever owns the uh, the YouTube account, right? Okay. If there's a payment account associated with it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Let Thank me. You. Uh, I'll poke around and see actually if there's anything like that. I don't know if I have the actual permissions to do that, but we'll see. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that would be really interesting to know. I know that there are a lot of Zoom. YouTube channels and people who stream a lot on YouTube and then they that's kind of like their sole source of income so I was always I was always curious and they would never discuss how much like they get paid if I mean either they get paid per view per subscriber but it would be good it would be a good exercise to know that just like an internal insider knowledge so. there is a discuss so I I follow uh, tabletop RPGs and their content creators. And there was a discussion recently by some who are sort of in the same tier that we're at, you know, in the thousands of, of subscribers tier. And they were showing how if they have a wildly successful video for their standards, they might make like a dollar. So it's, it, you have to really be in that elite tier, millions of subscribers to actually make money off of it. It's for most everyone else, you don't make anything. That's why I'm kind of curious to see like, would our top video make like 15 cents? I mean, that, that's that's a great experiment here, I guess. But then again, you know, it would help defray some of our storage and hosting bills. So who knows? Well, it's bragging rights too. Yeah. So <laughs> let's just not discount the bragging, bragging rights on that. Yeah, just for FYI, I don't, I don't appear to be like the actual Zeke user. I just have access to the channel uh, to do admin type stuff. So I can't see like um where the money would go like do we have a paypal account or any of that kind of stuff probably johanna <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> cool very cool all right well thanks sorry was there someone was talking um i'm sorry to interrupt all right well thanks richard for the communication part update really appreciate it and um, Johanna couldn't join us today to give us a Zeke LT update because she's on vacation and I didn't want to bug her. So um, I, I guess there are not very much <clears throat> updates on the LT side as well because of the recent event we were having in Europe. So pretty much everyone was busy in, in that event. So on that front, like anyways, there were, there were not very many updates since the last update that she gave last month. So it's, it's all good there. <clears throat> My throat is scratchy this morning. And from the training subgroup uh, side, uh, we don't have much updates on that front as well. Uh, we do have a lot of good ideas that we have discussed kind of like a month ago. And people are kind of like either traveling, they have, they are on vacation, they are moving jobs. So uh, we haven't gotten a chance to sit together again and then hash some of those ideas into some actually doable, actionable items. So hopefully we will have some updates for next month. But um, yeah, stay tuned for any kind of uh, updates on the training. Also, not to um, forget, we do have Slack channels for individual um, kind of like projects. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, questions for training subgroup, testing subgroup, in general, like if you, if you, even, even if you are not part of any of those Slack channels, you can just post it on any of the channels and right people will tag right people. Uh, of that corresponding area of expertise to answer your questions. So even if you are not a part of training group, but you have a question for training, post it on news or general and right people will get back to you. So with that reminder, are there any other questions for us or just suggestions, discussions, recommendations, feedback?
All righty. With that, I think we can wrap up this call. And hopefully next time we will not have any trouble joining the seed community call. So, all right. Enjoy the rest of the day, everyone. And I'll see you guys next month. Take care. Thanks, Fatima. Thank Thanks, Fatima. Bye. Bye.